Uh, we're back with the very human team of Caden and... I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> uh, typical racist, Ashley. Gonna meet some aliens with her my animals. I wish I could get an, a close-up of my face here. Nope. Not the right corner for it. I'm gonna wander around aimlessly on the Presidium. Oh, there's an animal. I mean, an uh, alien. Right, Ashley. Right, right. And talk the talk. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet they you. Talk so slow. I don't want to scan keepers. I'm just saying that right now. Codex, Codex, and Diplomat. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. The hell is that audio? Don't you just love it here? There's so much to see and do. Huh. The ambassadors here are very respectful. Except for that Volus. Huh. Bad audio. Editing. Blowing my mind. Uh, executor. Executioner. Like HQ. No Garrus. Where is he? Where is he? We can steal some data. Did you hear some ominous music kicking in? That did that. Let's talk to the executor. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Someone like me. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? No. No, we're not. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. Oof. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Actually, that's a very fair point. And why does the Naive have two rules? Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. Why are we defending Spectres when we're not one yet? Hm? The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I yeah. agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Uh I mean, he knows that Saren is out of control, so the Council should know that too, right? No, no, we're Paragon. But not all Spectres are like Saren. True, but the potential is always there. Well, Nihilus didn't see it coming. Executor Palin would have. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Gurus, Gurus. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Oh. 
Just for me, please. Okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Hmm. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Wrong. One liner. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. <laughs> Audio seems weird right now. But I believe my headset is a little bit busted. The would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Does she work for me? And I also have downloaded the Caden face mod. I don't know if people see the difference. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Why Have fun, this then. Ashley. So do she. Talk to me on the ship about it not being nice that she was welcomed into the team. And the music is gone. And that she appreciates that kindness. And now she's all douchey with everyone. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Maybe later. No, I don't want to drink. Uh, another keeper that I won't search for. Is there no way down? Oh no. No. One way. Just the music is back. Nope. It's a hooker, Tano. Makes a way for the li Liberto. Yeah, Liberto. To the Presidium. Allow so me to late. your guide. I can go to spot. This does nothing. This just lays uh, downstairs, but into the same route. Okay. Elevator. Elevator to where? Wards. Okay. Got it. This is pretty blind to let's play, by the way. No blade that I watched a little bit. In there. Never that heavily moored it. This cool so mod that I don't even know if I can keep for Mass Effect 2. Which I would want that though. Big place. Is that all you have to say? It's gigantic. Ah, uh, the music is gone. What are you? Uh, just an arrow. That's... Also the wards. That crossed here somewhere. Damn, I'm... I'm confused. Citadel, fast travel. Hmm. Let me guess, I can't go down there. Yep. I have an X foot run. I don't know why that just came to mind when I saw it. That's the citadel door, I believe that's where the quest is. Can I? Huh. What the hell? It's not possible in other games. Fire in the hole. Sure. This is gonna explode. Take it on away, please. I'm so confused on how to read maps. Oh, Bala Vaughn. I know that name. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. 
The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on a coos is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. Oh, thin that. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Yes, he talks a little bit quicker. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Oh. <laughs> What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard, people like us. Oh, and you're still not in the council. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Oh, okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. What's that? Looks like a museum. Got another jellyfish. Ah, that's the first one we've seen. But uh, another slow talking creature is what I wanted to say. Oh no, another alien, right, Ashley? Right? Another alien. This place is a little too yeah. per. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Damn it. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. Oh, All of great work. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Oh, uh, this much here. 
apparently. Ammo, face, shield, battery. No, what for? Doing nothing. Standard oh, items. Oh, this one is. Shotgun. Firestorm. Heavy armor. I don't know what's good. Can I have to do that off episode? Just checking out stuff. Okay. Another time the non-human stuff. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Ah. Uh. Oh, a uh, keeper. I'm finding them right now. But as soon as I would go looking for them, it's gonna be 19 out of 20. Oh, well. Oh, always. Trying to avoid it. I know it already. There is no. Not a keeper. Damn your game. Just tease me with that stuff. Just wandering around. That's how I get back. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times? But why? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Anything here? Before I need to cut the video, video edit it to cut out walking time. No, no, let's cut out the walking time. Good. Let's disturb the keeper. Please do not disturb the keepers. All right, too late. Touched it. I'll die now. Okay. Let's go. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. <laughs> That's all. Don't want to be questioned. Right, we're here. That's in time. Saren's hiding something. Uh. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. No. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way, but he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I want to test something. Oh, yeah. Um, can I free? Orbit. Free. Tide your eye, take photo, and us. Move it. Not something that works. Da tilt. No, that's not what I want. Get closer. Take a photo. I don't even know where that's gonna end up. Yeah. You don't want to keep the council waiting. I want to talk to you. Damn it. Damn it, Garrus. Where's my hard evidence? Ah, oh, nice place. Okay, just circle around a little bit. Probably no one here of interest, right? Just keep us. Everybody here. Sure, it's a keeper. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Commander? Commander. Oh, no quest yet. Mm. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. No questions. Oh, no. Ah, uh, 
Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Uh, well, just like the watcher, they're gonna be in the council for a few years. They speak faster. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. 
I've heard Barlevon's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Oh boy. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Oof, so much talk. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred, but the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Oh, to kill Salus too quickly. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. 
They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Scillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests, no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. I don't think that's how it works. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. It's just three against one. And the council seat, damn, that was a long one. Long talk. Um... I, I bet the all the staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions at the... Huh. What? What, Caden? You sure have to climb a lot of stairs to reach the council. Think that's supposed to be symbolic of their importance? That guy's oh. up to something. No, I the, the one over mission. by the keeper. No, the I haven't spoken to him before. Commander. That's the mission. That's the keeper mission. I don't want none. Oh well, look for Garris. That's the thing that matter. Okay, yeah, I'll forget about that. Hmm. Do we sprint fast like that? No clue. Let's see. I can get a little bit of progress done here. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Uh, everybody does. Uh, everybody. And we're still having to deal with it. To the ward. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Which is closer than Palaborn, so I'm gonna go down this. You're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Oh, what's that quest? Mm. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Mm. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Mm. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now. The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Get out of this here. This is the Presidium, not a church. Evangelize somewhere else. This one's no. beliefs will not be suppressed. No religion. Try, they are welcome to do so. No religion. No. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. 
Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What? So dear. Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. Hmm. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Arrested. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. Ooh. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. I agree. Oh. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. The CSEC officer. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. This isn't a way. Is this really how you want to represent the enkindlers? The truth of the enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Oh. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. No. Oh. I won't allow it. No religion spreading. My space game. Profanes don't exist. They ain't real. Right, team. We don't have full sight. Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Okay. And elevator. Right. Still going. Elevator talks, ladies and gentlemen. In the ward. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Oh, Quasar. Fist is uh. gonna... You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Huh? No mean one-liners. No music. I don't want to scan that. I don't... Oh, I don't want to do everything, you know. What's this? So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. And wait to switch them out. Actual, interesting characters. I don't mean that as. Oh, hello. Do you are? Um, a little bit lost. This uh, episode will be longer. Just to find my barons and my keepers. Isn't that where a quest happens? Where the hell am I going? Doris, damn. Okay, we're getting attacked. ECM is hot. Assassin. I knew Assassin's Creed was announced. It already has a bunch of backlash to it. Those raisins. I guess we're on the right track. Raisins. I cannot talk about. You know if you have seen the trailer, the online hate. Everybody wanted a Japanese Assassin's Creed game. And then they dragged politics into it. 
Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Oh, Rex is also here. Interesting. Arcane by draw. General Septimus. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. I know that side quest. Not now. I'm watching the show. I got business here, but not with you. You man. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. There's no one in front of me. Just in case. Oh, I'm into it. A uh, little bit more. A little bit more. Pop, pop, pop. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Because I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Oh, boy. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. We'll see where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with C-Sec, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, huh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. What the hell did you just say? Uh... You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Oh. Uh, Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The Executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Yes. Every okay. mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Oh, you idiot. You get off easy if you ask me. Mm. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility. But save your sermon. This ain't already no church. an option we had in something else. Uh. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. No. 
Krogan Falls. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Uh, it's Krogan. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Uh, it's not much of a club. It's more a bar. Okay. Well, Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter. Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. I bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. Gorostan, I am here. No market site. <laughs> yep. That's what I wanted. I wasn't in here yet. Hmm. Chance of me actually finding Garrus. Very low. This episode, I mean, very low. Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. I don't know oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Hello. Ah, I need to look for it another time. I don't know why I clicked it. Any other people here? I don't know what's good. And every other master. Oh, uh, if really I came, I know what's good. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? Mm. That's Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. I, I should be going. Know. As you say, Earth Clan, good day to you. I know we're gonna check out both planets. Something I know. I don't know what's on them that much. I don't remember too much of the Let's Play, so I watched a little bit. Oh, this part is over. It was a longer one, anyways. Ah, oh, peace. Oh, I'm gonna sell stuff now.